Cannabis may be effective both for treating diabetes as well as for treating the symptomatic expression of diabetes. This is perhaps one of the newest areas of cannabis research and we are seeing promising animal model data that indicates that CBD could be effective at actually treating diabetes itself. On the ground, from an anecdotal perspective, we do already have experience with patients that get benefits from treating the symptomatic expression of their diabetes with a wide variety of types of cannabis. For some patients, that may mean consuming THC to get better sleep. For others, that may mean consuming CBD-rich medications to reduce inflammation and increase their mobility. But what's most promising is international data that's indicating that CBD may in fact have an effect on the onset of this disease in the first place. That's what I'm most hopeful about and I certainly think we should push as a nation to get more research in this category. Well, I think the amount of data and even anecdotal experience we have with regards to diabetes and cannabis is pretty minimal. What seems most promising are CBD-rich medications and their ability to regulate insulin production. I would recommend to diabetic patients who are considering CBD as an option to consider dosing two to three times a day at a minimum over a long span of time, at least two to three weeks, to get a lens on how that may in fact be affecting, affecting your diabetes and insulin production. Diabetic patients experience a, a great deal of different symptomatic expression of their ailment. And I think it depends uh, what that symptomatic expression is, in turn with what medications would be most effective. Some people experience pain as a very significant part of their diabetes. And in that case, I highly suggest an even balance of CBD to THC, as it often proves to be the strongest analgesic for the largest number of patients. If a patient has difficulty with sleep, then they may want to consider more THC or in fact CBN as an option for their sleep needs in relation to their diabetes. Patients may experience benefits from cannabis both immediately and in the long run, depending on what type of medications they're taking and what effects they're seeking. Pain reduction, sleep needs are certainly those categories where you may get immediate benefits, whereas inflammation would be a category that you're more likely to see benefits in the longer run. So you wanna make sure that when you're working with somebody and figuring out what you're gonna to use to treat the diabetes, that you also take a look at your nutrition as well. I know I often am asked, you know, well, why can't I just use cannabis? Why don't I say, well, we have a lot of people out there using a lot of pharmaceuticals that are all still very, very sick because you have to treat the whole person. And with diabetes, this is actually even more so the case because of the nutritional aspects to this. We have an obesity epidemic in this country and it's actually spreading all over the world now. And the cannabis, the use of CBD and THCV, which is the, the THC with the virin, it's, a, it's a, uh, a, just a slight variance on what we all are used to. You still get, you still have the psychoactivity, but it's more of a euphoria, less of a paranoia. So people find it's much more comfortable. We have a lot more work to do on, uh, on making products available that have these components, or at least that have the THCV component. But I'm very excited about the promise of this particular molecule moving forward, especially in the treatment of diabetes. Is it gonna cure diabetes? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Having said that though, if you have type two diabetes as the result of obesity, and you are able to get your weight down and your nutrition in check, it may be that you're able to get off of your insulin, get off of some of the other things that you're having and save your health. But this is up to you and your doctor to monitor this very, very closely. And I would, I would recommend that you do not do something like this on your own, that you have guidance and you have professional oversight when you're treating yourself and certainly don't go off any insulin or anything like that without a medical professional overseeing your treatment. With this new field of research with regards to diabetes and cannabis, 
It makes it all the more crucial for patients to take notes take time and really devote themselves to understanding the medications they're engaged with and what benefits they're experiencing from them to really dial in to what might be the best options for them individually.